Here's a quick message that I wanted to share with the group today. And I actually shared this with my team this morning on our, on our weekly meeting. Really trying to get people doing more personal branding. And I'm finding that I'm getting stuck with people not wanting to put their face on Instagram or on Facebook. We're all happy to put adverts up and beautiful corporate looking images, which in effect is just actually advertising. So how do we take that step into personal branding and what are some of the pillars that we can use for an effective social media personal branding campaign? And before we even start, I just want to say, like I am speaking from experience here. If you take anybody in this world who is um, lacking in confidence or who was lacking in confidence, didn't want to put his face out anywhere, that guy sitting right here. Um, until a coach of mine said to me, Grant, if nobody knows who you are, who's going to want to come and work for your business? So I've really worked for the last sort of six years off the basis that the more I put myself out there and the more I put my personal brand out there into social media, um, the better it is for my business. And the rewards and the payoff has been exponential. It always starts off slowly. People don't reach out and contact you straight away. But if you adopt a really carefully strategized personal branding campaign, what you'll find is that over time with consistency and authenticity, you'll eventually start getting people coming up to you saying, wow, I'm seeing you everywhere. I'm watching what you're doing. I'm loving what you're doing. So if you want to create that, it's time to take the first step and that's to put yourself out there. Now, if we're going to talk about the five pillars of social media strategy, which I use with my team, here are the five points. Number one, and the most important one is you've got to show you on social media. It's time to get your face out there. It's time to put yourself on video. It's time to put a beautifully professionally done picture of you along with quotes and content. Um, but the more you put of yourself on social media, and remember, it has to be authentically you. So people have to look at it and go, yeah, that's Grant. That, that seems like Grant. The minute you put something up that's fake and false, then people are going, ah, oh, no, no, no. That's a bit of an act. It's a bit of a show. So who are you? What do you love? You know, if you love coffee, if you love sunrises, if you like guitar, if you love dogs or cats, whatever it is, show more of that on social media. Why? Because people love doing with people that they connect with. Sorry, people love doing people. <laughs> people love doing. I'm not stopping this video because it's got to be authentic and it's got to be real. People love doing business with people who they connect with. All right, but hey, it's the same for relationships, right? Think of your best friend. Think of your best personal relationship. You're going to connect with people who have similar interests and similar sort of likes to you. So you got to show who you are authentically on social media so that people out there go, wow, that, that person really loves dogs. I love dogs. We've connected on a certain level. I want to do business with her. And that's how it works. So the biggest drawback and the biggest insecurity that people have is when they see their face or when they see themselves on, on video or they hear themselves on video. They go, that's not me. And I know because I've done this as well and we redo the video 15 times. The best thing to do is just to do the video, take the photo and just put it out there and don't watch it again. Always remember how are you seeing yourself on video or how are you seeing yourself on a, on a photograph or how you're hearing yourself on a video may seem weird to you. But we're seeing that every single day. So don't worry about it. You can't change it. It is just the way it is. Put it out there. Um, you don't edit yourself when you're walking down the street. You don't edit yourself when you're having a conversation with somebody in a shopping center. So that's all you're doing. You're putting yourself as authentically as you can onto camera. And don't be afraid. So that's point one. Be you, be authentically you, and put yourself on your adverts or on your branding. Secondly, you want to show love for your community. So wherever you are, you've got to invest into your community, find something that's really cool about your community, something that you love about your community, whether it's a school, whether it's the promenade, whether it's a beach walk, whether it's your local coffee shop, and put that onto social media as well. Um, particularly in you, if you, specifically if you're in some form of sales environment um, that is based within a community, I think people love uh, seeing people who support their community as well. So have a community focus as well. Number three, you've got to have social proof. You've got to have some form of, form of proof of concept, proof of success. So this is where you're going to put up client testimonials, maybe pictures or graphics of you closing a deal. You've got to show people that you actually do business as well. It doesn't have to be the main focus or the main strategy of a personal branding campaign. But at the end of the day, you do personal branding because you want people to know who you are. And who are you? Are you a real estate agent? Are you a pharmaceutical salesperson? Are you a travel agent? Are you a bond consultant? Are you whatever, but whatever you are, 
put proof of success up as well. So you've got to have a little bit of proof of success so people know you know your stuff as well and you know your business. The fourth one is you've got to be a good power broker. You've got to be a knowledge broker. So you've got to know about your industry and you want to put posts up that are you sharing your professional advice, experience, um, opinion, whatever it may be with your followers. So you want to have that content up as well that shows that you are the real deal and you know what you're talking about in your industry. And then finally, I've gone blank on the fifth one, but it will come to me. Yes, the fifth one is that you've got to show people behind the scenes of you on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you know, if you were doing a reality TV series of yourself and you were the main star, what would people want to see behind the scenes? So whether it's, I don't know, maybe it's your, your gym workout if you have to, um, whether it's a team meeting, uh, whether you're in a little huddle at work or you're doing something behind the scenes, not something that, that your clients would typically see, or even your friends. I mean, I've had so many people say to me, Grant, you don't sell property, so what the hell do you do all day at Remax? Um, there's a lot that I do do. <laughs> Um, but you know, people don't see that on a day to day basis and they love to know what's going on behind the scenes. So try and find little creative ways of taking a picture or taking a video of you doing something that your clients and your friends wouldn't ordinarily see is sort of, if they had to open the curtain and see you behind the scenes. What would they see? Um, add a bit of intrigue and interest into what you do on a day to day basis. So there it is. Five pillars. Very easy. Take this strategy. Um, point number one, be you, both be authentically you and actually show yourself on social media, please, photos, videos, you've got to get into the habit of doing that. Number two, show a bit of your community, show uh, parts of your community that you absolutely love and connect with. Um, number three, you want to do um, behind the scenes, I'm juggling the order now, you want to do behind the scenes. Number four, you've got to do social proof, you've got to show people that you actually are successful with what you do, so put some testimonials of clients who are raving about your service or um, if you can put sales up or proof of sales or something like that, um, a new property listing, a new deal that you've just signed. And then finally, number four is you've got to be a knowledge broker. And you've got to show the knowledge that you have and share that knowledge with people to show them how much value you can give them. Put this all together in a social media strategy, mix up your posts, do it consistently over time and watch what happens. It doesn't happen immediately. You've got to give it time. You've got to be resilient here. You've got to do it over a long period of time and eventually you bump into a friend or a past client in the shopping center and they're gonna say these exact words to you. Gosh, I see you everywhere. You are so busy. And when that starts happening, you know it's working. Go and do it.